Hello boys and girls, it's Colin here. We're back again, a new week. And today we're gonna to learn something about little puppies, playful puppies. A few new songs for you too. All creatures of our God and King Lift up your voice with us and sing him hallelujah our god and king now let's see the playful puppies today i've come across a friend of mine who's got a litter of puppies you might have heard of milo the gospel dog milo and grace well grace has had a litter of puppies beautiful little puppies these are six weeks old and i would love to take them all home but they're all going to go to good homes now, these little puppies are like little children. They've got so much potential to be really good dogs, really well trained. Their mother is professionally trained to do lots of tricks. Very obedient dog. And these pups, if they're trained, they will also become wonderful trained dogs to do many wonderful tricks or to be really um, well trained to do whatever their owner ask them to do but at the same time if they're not trained they will become like just like any untrained dog not obedient and whenever you go for a walk if a dog is not trained the dog will just run off and go do its own thing and um whenever you call it it won't come and um, whenever it goes into the house it's not going to sit in the proper place but when a dog's trained I used to have a dog, Springer Spaniel, and it was really well trained. It could walk to your heel, which means you were so confident walking it, it didn't need a lead. It was so obedient. It would walk, it would stop, it would sit. And whenever you ask it to do, it was a brilliant retriever. When you threw a ball, it would go after it into the water, into the forest, into the field. It loved to, it loved to play, but at the same time, because it was trained, it loved to obey its owner. So a young pup... Uh, whenever, if it's trained, whenever it's young, it easily can be trained and, it's, and will enjoy being trained and it will naturally do what it's told. So little puppies remind me of little children. Whenever a child has been brought up, you might think it's not very nice when you've be, maybe been told off or being continually corrected. But the Bible, the Bible teaches us parents teaches parents teaches teachers the importance of correcting a child and training a child so whenever uh, the little child grows up if it's trained to have good manners to to be obedient to be reverent then that child is nicer to be around these puppies like to be together and whenever they're together uh, they play naturally much much better together whenever they're uh, on their own they will often 
yap or bark or because they, they naturally strive for company to be around people or be with their little uh, puppy friends, brothers, sisters. So that's why the Bible says if you want friends, you've got to be you've got to be a friendly person and show yourself friendly. The wee puppies have been running around for a while, so you can see them all going for a sleep. Sleep is important for a child. It's important for a puppy to grow. You might think it's strange. Whenever you're sleeping, how can you grow? Well, it's a fact. Whenever you get lots of sleep as a child, your bones and your body will develop naturally. And your teeth, a few weeks ago, these little puppies didn't have any teeth. Now the teeth are very, very sharp. It's important to look after your teeth. These little animals are created by God. Look at the eyes, the ears, perfectly developed, perfectly formed, perfectly marked. Look, the lovely chest, the little strong paws, the little strong legs, wee muscles everywhere. That's why any every anything that has breath, it comes from God. And that little puppy sitting beside me, he feels the heat, the warmth from my body, and he feels safe, and he feels secure. Likewise, very soon, all of these puppies will go to their own homes, and they'll get their own owners, and they probably won't see each other again. That's what happens to little puppies. But whenever they're young, they've got to be taken care of. They've got to be nurtured and loved by their owners, and make sure they get the proper food, and they make sure the mother sees them regularly, regularly so that the wee puppies can, can be able to get the right food to grow strong. But I thought about a wee puppy, and when a wee puppy uh, being is young, the owner will train it to sit, to stay, to retrieve and to just whenever you put the food down you sit and wait then say you can eat rather than jumping into the food and making a big mess of it and whenever a trained dog is around the home it's much more enjoyable to be around likewise whenever a child has got good manners it's much more uh, enjoyable to be around children whenever they've got good manners but a child will not not naturally uh, have good manners because the bible says we are all born with sin and shaping and iniquity in other words we're all born with a natural and habit to sin. Sin means doing things wrong. Sin is disobedient. Sin came into the world whenever Adam and Eve disobeyed God. And as a result, we're all born with that natural uh, thing to sin. But that's why the Lord Jesus died on the cross, to forgive us, to take that sin away. So the Bible says, trust in the Lord and do good. Whenever you trust in the Lord, you'll do good. That means whenever you do wrong, you'll be afraid of offending God and, and making God sad and angry. So you don't want to do wrong, you want to do good. So boys and girls, so many children want to grow up, want to become teenagers and adults almost right away. But take my advice, enjoy your childhood, enjoy your primary school days. They often say they're the best days of your life, and they are because they're carefree, because these wee puppies don't have to worry about working, don't have to worry about where their next food's coming from. They just totally trust and rely on their owner to bring their food to them and their mother to give them the natural the natural milk that they need. So they can just enjoy their childhood. They can sleep. They can run around. They can play. They can do all these things. But whenever they're big dogs, it's different. And they might have to work hard. They have to try hard. And maybe they're going to be guard dogs or hunting dogs or, or some dogs are trained for specific jobs. But whenever they're young and little puppies, all they have to do is sleep and run around and be carefree. But these are beautiful little dogs. Look how calm. Just wants to sleep. And that's whenever it's young, because it knows whenever it's bigger, it's not going to be able to sleep so long, because it might have to work hard. If it's a guard dog, it can't sleep whenever it's a guard dog. But this one here just wants to play all the time. <whistles> and right away when you whistle, they'll be able to wake up. You see, already instinct is in a, in a, in a puppy to retrieve, not just to be playful, but to retrieve. At six weeks old, the wee baby, can pick, wee baby puppy can pick up a tennis ball. You can imagine how easy it's so natural for this little puppy to look even <laughs> even to take the ball <laughs> and to play with his other friends. Wow! But these little puppies are little cute puppies. I oh, love to take this one home, and they're so cute. They smell just like a wee puppy. He wants to take my tea. Let's lift him up. Wee! Look at these two. They're almost identical. Woo! Ah, oh, don't lick me! No! We puppies want to lick me all over the face! <laughs> Aren't they cute? So enjoy your childhood. That's my advice to you today. When you're young and you're a child, enjoy it. Whenever you're at school, oh, enjoy your friends, make good friends, 
and make sure you're a friendly person. Show yourself to be friendly. If you've got brothers and sisters, love each other. Be kind to each other. Care for each other. <laughs> Enjoy each other's company. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Shake my hand. Look, he's going to shake his hand. Cute <laughs> little puppies. Now, they were super duper little puppies. Thank you to Amy and Dave and Archie and Joseph. Now, we're going to sing another new song after thinking about the little puppies. Storm of life, I know you're by my side, so I am holding on to your promises. You are the God who holds my future, all my dreams, so I am holding on. You'll never let go of me. You gave me hope when hope was all but gone. A second chance to sing a brand new. Song you open up my eyes, you see, you rescued me, rescued me. You showed the way when there was no way out. Cleared up my mind when you erased all doubt. You made me strong when I was weak. You rescued me, rescued me.